hey lovelies welcome back to love janelle today i am taking you bikini shopping at walmart with me it wasn't the plan but i know i'm not the only one that records myself in the fitting room just to see how it would look unbiasedly because you know looking in the mirror versus looking on a screen it kind of looks different so um i had enough footage i thought let's let's make a video out of it so I guess the bikini section was near the school supplies because that's what I went to Walmart for <laughs> in the first place. Walmart had $3 clearance bikinis and I had to check them out. So here are my findings if you want to see what I got or what I tried on. Stay tuned. I don't have any names for any of these bikinis so I'm just going to describe them as I see fit. First I tried on this mauve bikini with crochet detailing on the top with embroidery. This bikini top was a size medium. It had crisscross adjustable straps with a tie at the back. I could only find a size large in the bottoms. With these swimsuits, they all vary in size. A medium can be bigger for you sometimes and a large could be a bit smaller. So it's worth trying them on. So the bottoms have these nice little tassels, tie sides and the embroidery at the front that matches the bikini top. Um, overall I really did love this swimsuit so much that I did end up buying this one despite not having the perfect sizing. Next I tried on this black rib sports bikini. This isn't the official name I'm just making them up because um, this is what it looks like. Now I do have underwear on I did not take my underwear off for any of these but you see this bikini dips down at the back to allow I guess some butt cleavage and it dips down a little in the front also it gives a nice little V the top it has this ribbed material it fits kind of like a sports bra and the bottoms also fit very nicely and snug the bottoms you see what like I was saying with the size was an extra large and then you have the top which is also a extra large I believe so you it's worth trying them all on Here's another one I did buy even though um, it didn't fit 100% how I wanted to. I live in Florida. There's always a reason to wear a bikini. I have room to shrink so I got it anyway. This is the bandana pink and muted teal bikini. Um, I love the top. I love the tie at the back and it has little tie front at the front. This was a size medium and the bottoms were also, well no the bottoms were large. Um, but you see the difference how like they both look like they're smaller <laughs> but they um I like them so much I couldn't leave them and they were three dollars a piece so why not I really don't like having too many clothes around on account of goals but I really like this bandana look and the bikini doesn't take up that much room so I got it and I loved it so this next bikini didn't go together as a set but I put them together because I like the colors and how they went well together. They complemented each other very nicely. This top is a nice olive green with gold studs on them. This was a size medium and I had the same ribbed material in a peach for the bottoms. These bottoms are a size large. They did fit quite well. I didn't have a problem with that um, I didn't end up getting this top or the bottom set and you'll see towards the end why not this is another set I decided to put together I like the colors together even though they did not originally go together the top is a adjustable strap with a hook in the back it was a little large for me um, I think this was a size extra large as well as the bottoms being extra large and you can see the vast difference in size you see the bottoms fit decently and the top very loose again another set that was not a set with this one the colors go together the style not so much so I got one of the ribbed sports bras along with the bottoms that were these tie sides with the frill in the front. The top was a size medium while the bottoms were a size large but not very flattering at all. <laughs> So after I try my bikinis on, I round it down to the ones I like the most and then I go to a price scanner to check to make sure all of them are $3. This is an important 
part because I don't want to pay more than $3 for any piece. So you see that one is a winner because both of them ring up for $3 each. And even though they will have a sign saying something else, see that says nine and it rang up for three. This one, unfortunately, was in the wrong section. So some people will put a regular price stuff in the sales section. So look out for that. I did not get the bottoms either because I didn't love them enough to go without the top. And again, this wasn't $3 either. So I hope you enjoyed this little swimsuit shopping trip. Come into the fitting room with me. I was really sleeping on Walmart swimsuits, but I'm glad I did check them out. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, lovelies.